Hey everybody, it's Richard R. Motor Diag, and today we're looking at a Nissan Duke, and we've got a battery light on and the management light. Okay, so just basics here. We just on the battery, it looks like quite a new battery. It's a stop start battery, which is for the car. We've got 12 volts in there, but the ignition is on at the moment. Alternator is connected. Big wires on as well. No issues there, right? Let's start it up. Is charging there okay? Right, okay, so I just shut it down again. Apparently, the complaint with this, speaking to the customers, is overcharging. Uh, apparently, it was charging at about 15 volts, um, and there is a code for overcharging in the ECU, which they believe is why the um, the management lights on. So just having a look at this, obviously it's three wire, so I'm assuming this ECU controlled, it's got stop start and stuff on it, so it's gonna it's gonna need to monitor things. Um, I don't know what's supposed to be on these at the moment, but I'm just gonna probe into them with the ignition on. And I'm presuming we should have at least a 12 volt feed on one of them. So that's pin, that first pin there, which is beige. Then green, nothing. And then uh, light green, you got 10 volts. I assume that is more likely to be an ECU control because the battery voltage is higher than that. I, I'm expecting that to be an on off signal um, on there. I've got no 12 volt feed, so I'm going to have a look at a, uh, a wiring diagram and see what these actual pins do, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so according to the wiring diagram, that light green does go to the ECU, um, and the others go to under bonnet fuse box. So it looked on a 10 amp fuse, so. That one looks good. This next one. We got 12 there. Mm, nothing this side. We might have a blown fuse here. We'll just check all the tens. That one's good. Right, I'm going to get another fuse. And we'll see if this is just the problem. Maybe it was caused by the battery originally, charging issues. Um, I don't know, but we're going to put another fuse in this and we'll see if that um, gets us some power down there and see if it resolves our battery light fault. Right, so we've got a new fuse in here, it's just behind the battery. As you can see, 12 volts we have gained on this centre pin. And this outer pin is still nothing. Um, the wiring diagram showed that it went to uh, like a um, supply control unit, I think they called it on there not too sure but what we're going to do is if we plug it all back in um, we'll see if it all clears down we lose lose our codes and lights and stuff on the dash hopefully that'll be it have we got a battery light still We've got no battery light now. That's a good sign. Charging at a nice 14 there. What I'll do is I'll chuck some lights and stuff on. Uh, how's the heater working this? I'm gonna turn everything up. I'm just gonna swizzle everything. Everything flat out. Yeah, 
yeah, still coping with that quite well. All right, I'll plug it in, um, clear the codes down, we'll see what this does and give it a run, make sure it's not overcharging. Um, I suppose potentially that could have blown, you know, from an issue with the battery, um, something to that effect. Um, apparently the customer said that they did jump start a car the other day with it. So there, there, there could be potential issue there as well. Um, but all we can do is run it up and um, see what it does. All right, so there's that supply voltage code. Uh, apparently on their scan tool it's so too high and as I say they were complaining it was 15 volts. Um, I see we do have some other wonderful uh, things in here. We've got some glow plug faults, DPF fault. But uh, that's not what I've been asked to look at. I've been asked to look at the battery light. So that all seems good. I'll clear the codes out of it. I do have a copy of everything in the freeze frame. Terrible glare today. Can't see a thing. Is it better down there? No, not really. Alright, start it up. Battery light on and back off. As I say, it hasn't played up on a on a drive or anything like that. There's no other fault codes there. So I think for the battery light issue, we've got that fuse blown. Um, so it's a, it's a bit of a shame, I don't know exactly why. Apparently there was a car jump started off this with a set of leads, so there could have potentially been a mishap there. Um, and it has had a new battery put on it, so whether there was a, an issue with the, with the battery or a, ch a charging rate on the battery before, and it was doing something odd, I don't know but it seems all good at the moment, so we're just gonna drive this one on and monitor it, and uh, obviously we'll inform them that they've got a DPF fault in there and see what they wanna do. Cheers, guys. See you for the next one.